All right, what we have here is a um, Luxair furnace modification. Uh, a lot of people have problems in the winter where this pipe that goes up into the attic gets clogged with ice built up from moisture that the furnace, condensation that the furnace creates. A lot of people use um, all different ways to try to combat this. And I was reading online, many people have problems with their solutions did not work. And I came up with a solution that is working. This only happens at really cold, you know, really, really cold winter nights. Um, what I did was, um, is I took a Y and inserted it um, in the vent that goes up, okay? And I have a drain out plug there so you could like knock out an ice block that would fill up. What happens is the moisture goes up in the attic and the attic is, is just open space up there. It's really cold. So it freezes in the pipe and then your furnace doesn't work because it's clogged and it needs that, that pipe open to vent the air out. So what I did was is I put this clean out in there to clean it out and then accidentally stumbled upon another solution and it is when I put this clean out I didn't glue it in here because I don't want it to be like glued because I want to open it and it was dripping water and so I put a funnel as you can see the funnel and it's actually dripping some water now and uh, um, a clear hose and I put it down to a drain which is down there okay you see the water just dripping down there goes a little bubble of, of water and what it is, I put a pan in here and, and let it drip uh, from this um, this uh, box that um, is like a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a trap. It's a trap box. And I cleaned all this stuff out and actually when I cleaned it out, the trap box um, started leaking. And I don't have a right part number for it and the people couldn't verify the part number. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to let this drip in this pan that I made. I made a plastic pan, put some silicone RTV there, ran a... Uh, clear pipe out into the drain. It's been working for about a month now. And uh, the past couple nights we've had like negative five degrees temperatures and, and everything's working fine. So I'm hoping this is a permanent fix. Time will tell. So anyway, um, like I said, I ran this to, um, it, it basically stumbled upon this um, solution here because it's dripping the condensation out of the pipe. And the reason why I didn't explain this, uh, right quickly right now is if the condensation doesn't get um, drained out as you can see it's dripping what happens is and I think this is part of the problem that people overlook is this motor assembly here it gets water in there so when it starts up when your furnace starts up it's actually pushing way more condensation because it goes down into this blower assembly and just sits there and you can hear it turning on you can hear the water like this swishing around in there so what I think is happening is there's so much condensation that you get this problem. Well, this little easy to do solution fixes everything. So here's my um, fix to this issue. Thanks.